the work that came from her statistical analysis at the time has helped tremendously in the growth of public health and population nursing throughout the world. There are patterns in society. When we eat a certain way, when we are uh, a subpopulation is obese, or we have certain kinds of risk factors in our life, we would expect to see changes in the health of that population. She did indeed uh, bring forth the concept of epidemiology, which is the study of the occurrence of certain diseases. She is diligent in the work for the rest of her life. One thing that is very important at this particular point to look at is that she came down with one of the worst cases of Crimean fever that the British, a couple of the British soldiers that she was working with had ever seen. While she was bedridden, well into her late 80s, she was able to not only write essays and letters to important people in the nation, but also uh, she was able to write books, books that today are still of great importance. She managed to complete work on hospital nursing, to complete work on the administration of hospitals. She worked for the next 50 years of her life. She didn't let up until the very end. Uh, you know, her last great paper was 1893. She brought forth strongly the concept of the importance of mind, body, and spiritual connection, not only in the individual, but in the populations in which the individual resides.